It is about 4.30, and I don't know if that is evening or late afternoon, but it is about 4.30, and we are going out to uh, look at the animals. We're going to put the cats up. We're going to feed the goats. i got to feed a bottle baby. Um, but this is the video where I was going to give you guys an update. Some of you are not going to be happy with this update. Some of you won't matter to at all, but... There have been th some things change, and there are going to be some more changes take place real soon. And so let me fill you in on that. So you know, a couple of weeks back, I sold that death layer rooster. And uh, so that meant that I needed a rooster in this coop right here. And so let me show you who I put out here. Turkey looks a little, a little angry. What is wrong with you? There he is. You ain't got nothing to say on camera, huh? I think that's that hen that threw a fit during the eclipse. I'm not for sure, but probably is. Anyway, here is, ooh, eggs. You guys might not know who that is because you haven't seen him very much. I had him in a cage up front. That is the laughing rooster. And um, I named him the Joker. And that's, that's the whole reason why I named the Black Orpington Batman. It's because I had the Joker, and, you know, he's black. The Orpington's black, and so I went ahead and named him Batman. I don't normally name my birds. I, I barely name my goats, and I don't name the cows. So, um, anyway, yeah, that's the Joker. And he's upset that I'm out here. Time to fill up their their food thing. Let me give them some out of here. You act like you're hungry. Oh, look at these birds up here. They've got bugs out there and they're going to come up here and beg for food. Well, that was lame. Oh, that was a dud, dude. What are you doing? You didn't wait on me to give it to you, are you? Are you? <laughs> the girls are scared of me. Batman. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take this to the to the shop and fill it back up and put it back out there. And I better go ahead and do it before I forget to do that. Um, I'll either forget to do that or I'll forget to lock the, the coop up. So I need to do that right now. So that I don't forget. Come on, kitty. Did y'all hear him? The the rooster? Come on. 
All right, I got it back in there. It's full. That thing's heavy when you fill it up with, with bird feed. Here's a duck wandering around. Um, so they get out and uh, I, they put themselves back up. Here are the bucks. And as you can see, guys, when you guys weren't looking, I added to their pen. This is Chase. He thinks I'm going to feed him, and I don't know why. I never feed him in the evening or afternoon. We haven't decided if it's evening or afternoon, but I didn't take all of that fencing down, and I didn't take all of that fencing over there down yet. But, um, hey, Rocky. Oh, that was rude. Oh, my gosh. You okay, buddy? He'd rather not talk about it. That was rude, dude. Don't do that. That was just rude. That was rude. Anyway, ignore Rocky. I haven't taken that fence down and I haven't taken this one over here down yet. But as you can see that they have they have access to all this. The birds have access to it and that they can fit through here and before all they had was this this front area with this kind of paneling, but now that the whole thing all the way around has the cattle panel they have um, realized that they can get out. They've been able to get out the whole time, but they just now realized it. Oh, that bird is getting on my nerves. What is wrong with her? What is wrong with her? I'm gonna put her in here with y'all. So you see there's one duck there and there's uh, the, that's the drake. Where's your tail, buddy? Where's your curly tail? I think that's the drake. Huh. Cause he's got more green. I don't know where his little his little feather, his feather that's supposed to curl. I don't know where that is. But there's four there. I should have five ducks. So I'm gonna check and make sure this one hen is sitting on eggs and not like missing or something. And she is. She's sitting on eggs. Man, there are a lot of flies in there. And I I thought that they would have they would have either hatched by now or she would have gotten off the off the nest um i'm trying to think seems like it seems like i noticed her the first day i noticed her on the nest was april the 24th i think today is i don't know today today might be the first of june i don't know i don't know what today is but it i, I thought she would be off of there or somebody would have hatched by now but she has a, uh, would you stop? Stop it. You're nasty. You're nasty. Look, your beard's all wet. Your face is wet. Stop it. I don't want a pet. And I don't want kisses. No. No. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're nice. You're sweet. Quit rubbing up against me. You're ooey, dude. Get back. Come get your boy. I gotta get out of here. Bucks are nasty. If you don't know, bucks are nasty. Now, weathers are not. But, uh, move. Come on, Rocky. Weathers. Uh, nope. Get back. Get back. Go. Give him more room and look what he does. Look how he treats me. Hey. You know how hard it was for me to do this? Do, do you realize how hard it was for me to do that for you guys? Anyway, what I was saying is... Ow! <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Oh, you're in trouble. Get back, buddy. Excuse me, Rocky, I'm on a mission. What's the matter, Chase? Come here. Got you. Now, I need two hands. There we go. Hold on just a second. I'm just gonna hold him for a minute. Rocky, stop it. 
Move. <laughs> okay, okay. It's okay. We're buds. I forgive you. So remember, Tucker was out with the girl goats and when River and the brown goat had their baby, I came home and Tucker was keeping the keeping River away from her babies. And now that everybody has had their babies, look who is back out here with the does. Are you being a good boy? Are you being a good boy? Is it hard? Yeah. You being a good boy, you treating the babies right? Are you treating the babies right? up river now I usually do feed the girls in the evening so I'm gonna go get food for them but first I am gonna go inside and get a bottle baby um, which there's a lot to talk about out in the goat pen a lot to show you hey Axel hey buddy Are you a good boy look at them eyes he's a good boy I thought I saw a shade. So the does are, they're, they're going to holler at me until I go over and feed them because it's, it's, it's almost time to feed them and I'm out here. But I'm going to go inside and get um, a goat, get the bottle baby, oh, and uh, she needs to be fed. Um, so, so one of the updates, I'll just go ahead and tell you. Yes, there's only one bottle baby, and that's because I sold the other one. I'm, I told you I was keeping the female, and I've already sold the male bottle baby. He went really quickly. All right, I've got a bottle and a goat. She'll follow me because I've got a bottle. <laughs> Come on. You gonna run? You gonna show them what you just did? I'm going to face the camera this way. Hi, kitty. How you doing? Good? Now that I'm trying to show you, she's not going to do it. Let's see. Nope, she's up here now. So I'm going to um, get some goat feed, take it out to the does. Come on. And take her with me and go ahead and feed her. And then we need to talk about the goats. There are goats leaving. Come on, goat, come on. Here she comes. Not only are goats leaving, but um, some have already, have already gone. I actually sowed four goats, four does, since the last video. Um, actually, within the last couple of days. You're going. She went too far. We're going this way. Come on, let's go this way. This way, come on. Come on, goat. Runs like the wind. So I'm gonna set the camera down so that I can do this. I gotta get the goat in there. I got to get the food in there. And I get the bottle in there um, that I'm holding with the same hand that I'm holding the camera. So, and, and not let anybody out. So, uh, give me just a second. Let me get everything situated and then I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, here is what I have left. Can you guys figure out who's missing? These guys are not missing for sure. And you're, yes, we know you're here. These two are the last two that were born. That one is the one you guys know I'm keeping. And of course, this one. And uh, let me feed this goat. There we go. Why do you turn your head? <laughs> Why do you turn your head?
Okay, this is going to upset some of you. I know because you've left comments and people have, have, have told me that the brown goat that had the two dolings were their favorite goats and uh, that those are the ones that I sold. And I sold River's daughter. So this one right here is her son. But the white goat that was all over everything, all over everyone, all over me pulling hair and all that, she's gone. But before you get too mad, um, I've got this dog who's wanting my attention. I got, I'll forget it there. I'm not remembering very good lately. Am um, I forgetting? I'm forgetting a lot of things. Where are you going? Come on. Hey, come here. She don't care of rain. Okay. So, before you get too upset about it, let me tell you where they've gone. They have all, the, the four of them have gone together. So that mother is going to get to stay with her two dolings. Yes, the other doling was taken away from River and River was separated from it and brother and all that stuff. But she does know who she's with because she went with the brown goats. So they're all four in the same location. And uh, they are going as pets. They're not going to be bred or anything. I mean, they, the owners could change their mind later. <laughs> I don't know. Little babies are fun. But um, that isn't their plan. Their plan is to um, have them as... Um, so, so the I'm trying to think of how much I want to say so the the, the people that took her uh, they do equine therapy and the little goats or the goats they'll, they'll grow up but they're they're gonna be kind of like um, as they do equine therapy with children and so as the children are waiting for their turn they uh, will be playing with the goats and so they're kind of gonna be in like a like a petting zoo situation except that it's not a zoo it is a home and they're not going to be bred. So I think that's a really good place for them. Um, it's uh, a lot easier on them. Um, it's not as... Uh, it's not like they were all split up and went separate direction. It's not as though they're going to someone that's going to breed them every year. Breeding them every year is probably not the easiest on them. I mean, that's what I do is I breed them... Um, every year and um, that's what you know when people buy them to breed them that's what they do is they pretty much breed them every year and some of them will you know breed them until they're a certain age or so many so many babies and then they retire them and they rehome them as a retired goat or they keep them on their farm as a retired goat and not breed them again There are a lot of subscribers who, who enjoy watching the goats and especially the babies every year. They like seeing the herd grow, but um, the herd has gotten too big. Uh, I don't need this many goats. It is a hobby for me. I would like to make some money back. Uh, I would like to be able to make some money off of them, but you just can't do that right now. Um, the, the, the market has changed and you cannot do that. So I am keeping a few of the babies and that is why some of the adults are going. Now, if you remember, the brown goat and the black goat, they don't even have a name. I didn't know if I was going to keep them or not. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but those goats, her two goats are on the other side of the fence, and she's trying to get them back over. Rain, can't you control your kids? Oh, I better go get my kid. What are you doing? Hey, come here. No. No. We're going to set you down over here. So those two, the black one and the brown one, I wasn't going to keep last year or the year before rather. Either year, actually. But the market has not come back up. I don't know that it ever will. Uh, I don't know that anything will ever change here. Uh, things are so, so messed up. So, so, so messed up. I, I don't, I don't know how things are going to. Um, 
I don't know that you can fix this, but I don't want I don't want too many goats. Um, I don't want, you know, we had the drought a couple of years ago. Was that a couple of years or was that, I think it was a couple of years ago. And that was very stressful. And so I, I don't want to have more goats than what I can um, handle over a, a summer of drought and then going into the winter. And I don't want to get attached to the goats. I really enjoy goats. I, they're fun. They're fun to, to raise. They're fun. The babies are, are really cute. I really enjoy looking out the window in the mornings and seeing all the babies running around. And, but I don't want to get attached to them. Now, I am attached a little bit. Um, I'm not going to deny that. There is a little bit of an attachment with some of them, not all of them. I do care what happens to them when I sell them. I want to know where they're going. I want to know that they're going to be taken care of. And the bottle baby, I, I think they've, they've not had a goat before, but they've done some research. Um, and they have other animals. They have rabbits and, and pigs and uh, horses. And so they have other animals. It, it's not, you know, all brand new to them like it was to me when I first got goats. Goats was, I think, the first farm animal I got. So, um, and that was, that was really hard. And I actually, I lost a baby that, that first year. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that he will be okay. They left me to go to Atwoods. They took him with them to Atwoods. Um, I guess going to buy stuff for him. I don't, I don't know. But then of course where these does went, um, the, it's their first time to have goats, but they have, um, well, they have horses, right? And they have, uh, they've had, I don't know if they have cows or have had experience with cows, uh, but they have been around cattle. So they either have them or, or had them because we discussed it. They've been, they've done the farm life. They've not done goats, but you know, it's, it's real easy. Goats are, are hard if you've not had any farm animals, but they've had experience with livestock. And so they will be fine. I am not concerned about the, where are we going? Shade. Come on. Hey, goat. Hey, come here. Come here, goat. Goat, get back. Get back. Come here, goat. Excuse me. Come here. Come here, goat. Come here, goat. I've got to go get her. She's going to have to stay inside or in one of those cages up front until she gets big enough to where she can't go through this fence because she has ties to no, to no one. You know, the other goats, the other little ones, they won't go anywhere because their mother's out here. She doesn't mind me very well. So anyway, I'm not concerned about the care that the, the does get. I'm pretty pleased with their, um, with their new home, with where they're going. She was following me just a second ago. Hey, come on, goat. Come here. Hey, come here. Hey, come here, goat. Come here. Hey, come here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Anyway, I'm confident that those goats will be fine, all of them. But. carry the feeder, the bottle, the, the camera, talk to you and keep up with where this goat is. All right, I have put the goat up. I've put the food scoop up. I put the bottle up. I put the cats in the, in the shop. If you guys watched the last video when those um, babies were born and you heard the coyotes, you know why I put the cats in the shop at night. It's not quite night yet but um i go to bed kind of <laughs> i go to bed kind of early so um i get everything done and i sit and relax for a little bit and i do go to bed early i do get up really early here lately i've been staying up a little bit later not on purpose I've, i'm just not sleeping as well but generally if i can go to sleep early i do because i 
wake up early there's not a whole lot I can do about it but I'm gonna come back out here and discuss more about who's leaving and hopefully don't upset too many of you too much now I do care a lot about the animals I do have some sort of an attachment to them, but it's not like I do with 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 like the dogs that I know I'm keeping and everything. I do have an attachment with Maggie and with with Chester. I'm not as attached to them as I am to Tucker or to Dandy or to Gertie or Eddie. You know, ones that I that I that I picked out that I went and got that I you know to keep. But with that in mind, I wanted to let you know that I don't keep goats very long. You guys have been following me. Well, I've only been on YouTube for three years and um, I keep goats three or four years. I've, I've been doing goats for five years and I do not have not one goat that I had when I first got started. Rain is the one I've had the longest so far. And I am attached to Rain. She has a name. I've had her the longest. She was about six months old when I got her and she was a bottle baby. So she's a very friendly goat. But it is time for Rain to go. It's time for Rain to go. Um, because I want to be able to find her a home while she is still young and can, can get a home that will will maybe let her retire at their place that could maybe still breed her if they wanted to and then retire her at her place that's that's the goal so i hate to see rain leave and i'm not just going to sell her to the first person that that offers to buy her i um am not going to reduce her price i am not going to like i'm going to make sure the, to the best that i can to make sure that she's going to go to the right home and and that's that's it's hard on me and I know it's gonna be hard on some of y'all because rain has has been here since the channel started remember a couple of years ago I saw I saw cloud and stormy and and they had been around for a while matter of fact stormy I raised um, as a bottle baby from two weeks old and so I, I am going to keep pebbles and, I'm, and I chose Pebbles, like I'm gonna keep Pebbles. When she was born, I chose her. I, that was one I was gonna keep. And I'm gonna keep the Rain's daughter that's that's really moon spotted from this year, the one that's over here next to her. I'm gonna keep the the lighter colored La Mancha doe. The, well, she's, she's a mini La Mancha, the one that was born from the, from the black doe. I'm gonna keep her definitely. I'm considering keeping the other little doling. I'm not for sure. Um, in my head, I keep, uh, she's for sale. Like she's for sale. If somebody wanted her, I would sell her um, at the right price. But uh, she's not the breed that I want. I want full-blooded Nigerian Dwarf and Mini La Mancha. And she is, um, well, she's a Mini La Mancha. She's 75% Nigerian Dwarf and 25% La Mancha but she looks like a Nigerian Dwarf. So if it's a mix like that, I want them to look like the mini La Manchas instead of like the Nigerian Dwarf. So, but her co coloring is really pretty, so I don't know if I will keep her or not. Um, Rain's baby from last year, what, the year before last, I don't know. The one that rejected, that, that gave me the bottle babies this year, I think I'm going to sell her and it's not because she rejected them because she's a first time mom and that happens. So I'm, I'm positive the next time she, well I can be 100% positive because you never know what a goat's going to do. Um, but I'm pretty confident that the next time she gives birth that she'll know what to do. She'll be able to accept the babies just fine. Um, had I not been out here when these last two were born with a black goat um you know i could have had dead goats in the morning so um, she just needed a little bit of encouraging and this this mama was alone and um no one was there so i feel confident the next time that she gives birth she'll know what to do river when she first gave birth the first time she rejected her first baby this year she's an excellent mother she takes really good care of them um and so that 
that brings me to river there's a good chance that i'm going to get rid of river river came to me year before last as a bottle baby um, Amy gave her to me for my birthday living and a living in abundant grace homestead um, She had a standard size La Mancha that a few years ago We bred with one of my Nigerian dwarf bucks that I don't have anymore and we got um, out of that uh, That that doe had twins and one of those twins was River Amy has the other the other sister and so um they both got bigger than I, than I thought they were. River is big for for here for what I want. I like River a lot. If I get rid of River, she's going to go back to Amy. Amy's already said she she would like to have her back. And Amy milks her goats. River produces a lot of milk and um you know she would be back over at at the original house she came from and she would be with her sister. So, and, and come to think of it, Amy has her son, too, <laughs> from last year that she rejected. So, I'm not concerned about River. If I, if I decide to get rid of her, um, that's, that's where she'll go. Not 100% sure about that, but, but um, it's, it's probably going to happen. Originally, I had said that I was, to myself, that I was going to sell the black doe that had the uh, moon-spotted uh, doe and the mini La Mancha. I haven't made up my mind completely. If somebody offered to buy her or if I, you know, found somebody who was looking for a goat, I would, I would sell her, I think. But, um, I don't know how hard I'm going to, to try to sell her because I haven't really made up my mind yet. The reason, the reason I haven't is she's, she is a good mother. Um, and she has that black and I'm wondering, I, you know, she had some beautiful babies and, and I'm wondering if maybe that, that because of the, all the black is, is why we're seeing all the moon spots come from the father, um, and the, and the ears come from the father. And she has, she has beautiful blue eyes. And so I haven't made up my mind about her. <laughs> you may, may be another video, maybe the next video and she's gone. I don't know. Uh, I might could sell her and her. And, and her one doe together and see when I can sell them together it does two things it keeps them together with with someone they know it you know anytime there's a move it's upsetting for everybody including myself but um but it all, all also gives them to go they, they're able to go with someone they know um that buckling that went the other day he wasn't old enough to know um himself <laughs> he wasn't old enough to know anybody be attached to anybody so, but that is one of the reasons I put them together. Um, it keeps me, it, it's one less sale that I have to make, one less um, person I have to find to sell to, but it also keeps the goats together and keeps them, you know, feeling a little bit safer going with someone that they know, and especially if it's someone that they're attached to. So, those are, those are my thoughts on things. Oh, and, and there are two more, let's see, yeah, there are two. Besides the, the, the patchy looking doling that I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to sell or not, uh, there are two other dolings. River had, not River, Pebbles had two does and a buck. Those two does are going, one's blue eyed and one's brown eyed. They're very pretty. And, and then the, the three bucks, River had a buck, Pebbles had a buck, and Rain had a buck. And so um, here's Rain's buck right here. Well, he moved on me when I said that. This guy right here, he's got blue eyes. He's really pretty, but not a lot of people are looking for bucks. And this is a buck, that's River's buck. There he is, he's showing his eyes. There's Rain's buck and Pebble's buck just walking by there. They are all really good looking. So if I get rid of all the ones that I know I'm getting rid of, plus the ones I'm considering getting rid of, that would leave me with three, maybe four does, and then two bucks over there. Um, speaking of the two bucks, Chase, the, the one that got in trouble a while ago, I'm considering selling him, and it has nothing to do with that. He's never done that before, but it has nothing to do with his behavior. He's, he's really, he's, he's got, he's a good, good-mannered goat, you know, for a buck. They're, silly but 
um, he's related to way too many people out here. And so I'm um, looking at maybe selling him and getting a replacement buck so that I can, you know, alternate them and, and, and whatever. Keeping in mind that I don't keep goats for until they get old i don't keep them for a long time and it's not I, I i don't keep them until they get old because i want an opportunity for them to go to another home while they're still young and still serve a purpose and grow old at that other home and at a place that maybe people do keep them into retirement and i know that sounds kind of cruel or will to some of you um but you know when you when you have does that are breeders for uh, large large dairy or um meat goats when when they're too old to have kids they go to the auction they go to the auction as a meat goat whether it's a dairy goat or whatever once they're done i mean like they're it, it's it's it happens a lot uh not as not as often with these little goats uh they don't there's not as much on them as far as meat goes but they're also more of a hobby type animal the dairy the pygmies is a meat goat it's a shorter it's they're small just like the nigerian dwarf but they are meat goats and so um you know sometimes they do go as meat they're they have more meat on them they're they're bigger animals they're short but they've got more meat on them and these are dairy so they're kind of thinner but um these guys being more of a hobby goat or a dairy goat um that that happens less often and that's why I got into these. Um, I could have gotten into pygmies. I got into small goats because they're easier to handle. It's just me. But, uh, and even when Greg was still here, I knew one day it would just be me and I needed to be able to handle the goat. I can't handle a 120, 120 pound, 150 pound goat. I surely can't handle a buck. Um, a river is bigger than what I can, what I really want. She's, she's, she's close to 100 pounds, but, it, you know, she's heavy. I couldn't handle her if she, if she uh, decided she didn't want to listen to me but um so i got into these because they're small and i can handle them and they're dairy and so they're less likely to be sold as meat goats i know people eat goats that's fine i've tried it i've gone to a mexican restaurant and i've tried it and, and it you know it's, it's becoming more and more popular over here in america uh, uh, within all cultures you know but um I just, I don't know, I, I, I don't want my, my goats going as meat, even though they are livestock. They are, um, they are not pets to me. They are livestock, just like the cows livestock, just like maybe the chicken. I don't know if you would consider chicken livestock, but I view them the same way. And um, almost the same way. <laughs> I, can make it, I can make a pet out of a cow. I, that's why I don't name them. I don't want to get attached to them. So... Anyway, that's where we are. I hope I didn't make uh, too many of you mad. I hope you understand when, um, you know, when I, <clears throat> when, when they have, when they kid, when they have babies and I sell the babies, that goes right back into what I have to pay for the goats when I have to, when I get them disbudded, when I uh, get, give them their shots, when I give them hay or feed or anything like that. The sale of the babies goes right back into to the goats, just keeping the hobby going, I guess. And uh, everybody's got a, everybody that has animals, no matter where they go, they have to be able to afford the animals somehow. And so that's just the way it is done here. And I've only been doing this a few years, you know, four or five years. I've only been YouTubing for, I think, three years. I think it was the beginning of 2021. And, but if you think about it, I don't have, how, how, many, how many of the animals have come and gone? And I don't have old animals here except dogs. I've got a few old dogs. But anyway, I hope you guys understand. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hit the like button, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, be nice about it. I do know you have opinions, but be nice about it in the comment section. Um, but, but feel free. To, to let me know how you feel in the comment section as long as it is nice, respectful. Respect me as a human, okay? And we'll see you guys on the next one.